In this video, we'll talk about how to pasteurize and expand your bulk substrate using the Instant Pot to ultimately grow mushrooms. Since mushrooms are meant to be eaten, I love using organic cocoa coir. To start, you'll need one 1.4 pound block of cocoa coir. You'll need a five gallon bucket. I like using this bucket, which I found to be BPA free. Again, since mushrooms are meant to be consumed, I don't want chemicals leaching into the substrate. You'll also need vermiculite, garden gypsum, and a measuring cup. I like to use one that has two cup capacity. It makes it easier and faster to measure out water. You'll need a measuring spoon in tablespoon increments. You'll need a large spoon to mix up all the ingredients in the bucket. You'll need some 70% isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle. You'll need protective rubber gloves. You'll need about 16 cups of water to get your substrate to field capacity. I simply fill up several water bottles from my reverse osmosis filter, and I set those aside. You'll need oven mitts to handle the hot inner pot from the Instant Pot. You'll need an Instant Pot to boil the water. I use my 10 quart Instant Pot Duo Nova. And with that, let's jump into the steps. First, spray down your five gallon bucket with alcohol. Next, place your 1.4 pound brick of cocoa coir into the bucket. Add two cups of vermiculite. Add four tablespoons of garden gypsum. Then in your instant pot, add 12 cups of water. seal, and then set to pressure cook on high for three minutes. Once it's done, hit that cancel button and then quick release the pressure. Wearing your gloves, and using oven mitts, pour all 12 cups of the water into the five gallon bucket. Then using a large spoon, make sure to stir well. Spray your lid with alcohol, cover the bucket and then let's sit until cool. This should take about three hours. Once cool, you can check the field capacity. Take a handful of expanded coir, squeeze and make sure a couple drops of water come out. If it's too dry and no drops of water come out, when you squeeze the coir, you can always add more water by following the previous steps. If it's too wet, some recommend adding some vermiculite. 
I haven't tried this, but it makes a lot of sense. In one of the next videos, we'll talk about how you can combine your colonized grain spawn with your expanded and pasteurized bulk substrate in a monotop. All right, so that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, or if you want to learn more about growing mushrooms, please consider giving it a like or hitting that subscribe button. Or consider sticking around on the channel to listen to some music and enjoy some original art. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.